Hello. Welcome again to another session of Digital Slide Review and Sign Out. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel, coming to you from the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center and our program, a uh, collaboration of the Digital Pathology Association and PATH presenter known as the Digital Anatomic Pathology Academy. Our case today is from uh, the realm of GI pathology, somewhat uncommonly encountered now, a 35-year-old man with a history of HIV infection and has developed some nonspecific abdominal complaints which uh, ultimately result in colonoscopy. Uh, on colonoscopy, they note some uh, somewhat irregular uh, appearing areas of the uh, colonic mucosa, and um, those are biopsied. As we can see here at low magnification, uh, there's some areas of interstitial hemorrhage and a slight area with some splaying or expansion of the lamina propria by a somewhat blue cell infiltrate. So we'll go here to the uh, hemorrhagic areas first, and we note that these uh, areas uh, do have a little bit of a spindle cell proliferation around here, and then maybe some vascular ectasia uh, or vascular congestion. Uh, so this spindle cell area is of note. Um, we see some preservation of the architecture, and then here we see a lot of interstitial uh, red cells sort of uh, streaming off into that area there. We'll go over here to the other <clears throat> uh, fragment and look at that. Uh, here we see, again, somewhat of a spindle cell proliferation in the lamina propria. Um, these cells have a degree of atypia, a few intracytoplasmic or small lumina-like spaces, clear spaces, um, and they sort of stream in between uh, the existing uh, glands. Uh, in this piece, uh, the uh, process has expanded the lamina propria and is uh, displacing or even potentially engulfing or uh, destroying uh, the uh, residual crypts uh, that are remaining here. Interestingly, we don't see a lot of red cells uh, in this area, uh, and so our differential could include a number of other lesions uh, that might uh, be seen in this setting, other spindle cell lesions such as mucosal Schwann cell hamartoma, uh, neuromas, diffuse uh, uh, neuromas, um, probably not lyomyoma, but uh, uh, some of those kinds of lesions would be in our differential of uh, considerations. And then this last piece here, uh, again, we see uh, uh, the uh, spindle cell proliferation between the glands uh, here without much vascularity. So um, vascular lesions uh, of the GI tract mucosa, uh, while we've discussed uh, gastric antral vascular ectasia or GAVE, uh, which is uh, confined usually to the stomach, and then esophagus and stomach can both show areas of uh, hy portal hypertension related varices. In the colon, you can see angiodysplasia that can result in uh, occult bleeding. Uh, that's usually associated with dilated, very thin-walled uh, vessels. Uh, granulation tissue can sometimes appear um, uh, very florid and uh, most often uh, perhaps confused uh, with uh, potentially uh, adenocarcinoma because of the uh, rounded gland-like structures that those granulation tissue vessels uh, acquire. And then neoplasms like angiosarcoma and Kaposi's sarcoma uh, can occur in the GI tract as well. So this is an example of uh, another pattern that we see with Kaposi sarcoma. Here, a small biopsy, uh, again, with areas of interstitial hemorrhage and vascular ectasia here, very superficial. See, so note this vascular ectasia um, and some interstitial hemorrhage. And then as we look here, we see that rather than seeing a spindle cell population, we see a more vascular type proliferation, somewhat different than our previous uh, case. Uh, but this also is an example of Kaposi sarcoma with a slightly different morphology. <clears throat> so this combination of either spindle cell morphology or a uh, uh, glomeruloid vessel type of process uh, with some associated uh, uh, vascular ectasia, particularly in the superficial portions, uh, are also within the realm of uh, 
uh, Kaposi sarcoma. Here's another example, a uh, fixed image, uh, showing you again this uh, sort of uh, uh, lace-like pattern of dilated vessels over here in the superficial area, some intervening uh, spindle-shaped cells, uh, which you see here. And in this case, there was more vascular or more red cells associated with it, which made it more easy to recognize it as a vascular uh, lesion. Uh, Kaposi sarcoma is, of course, secondary to human herpes virus type 8 um, and is usually seen in association with HIV infection. Uh, it may be multifocal, and that's the important thing to recognize that multiple foci in the GI tract uh, or the colon can be uh, encountered. Um, the incidence, of course, is going down as the effectiveness of uh, antiretroviral uh, therapy has improved. And very often, these patients are not symptomatic, although if they do, it's usually fairly mild, diarrhea, pain, maybe some bleeding, although not uniformly, and occasionally protein loss. Our immunohistochemistry, as expected, these stain with vascular markers, CD34 and CD31, and of course, the human herpes virus type 8 uh, uh, immunohistochemistry is diagnostic. So here's an example. Here's CD34, uh, and we see this diffuse, strong staining uh, in the periglandular areas, and human herpes virus 8, you expect to see the nuclear positivity, which we see here. Now, of note, uh, the uh, Kaposi sarcoma does not always expand the lamina propria, as we see here. It can be very insidious uh, in terms of uh, involvement. And so your index of suspicion in this setting of a person with maybe a history of HIV uh, should uh, go up. As you consider, of course, other infectious lesions. So our final diagnosis today, Kaposi sarcoma, the colonic mucosa, occurring in an HIV-positive uh, 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 middle-aged man. Thanks for joining us. I hope that you've enjoyed this and picked up a few clues to help you in your practice. We welcome your comments and certainly hope that uh, you'll subscribe or share this uh, video with others uh, and uh, leave us your comments. Um, we do intend to continue to post uh, videos, so if you want to receive notice on those, a uh, subscription is a great idea. And until next time, thanks for joining us.